Hi everyone, we're in Essex UK and watching YouTube as you do. I saw the Flow Hive on their website and thought, wow, this is a bit of a game changer. I've always wanted to keep these, so as of Christmas 2017, I bought their starter kit on a special offer. They do special offers through the year, so pick your time and save some dollar. The bee suit, veils, hive tool, gloves, smoker, all seem good quality gear. The only issue I've had has been with the hide itself. Excellent manual, gives you excellent details on how to put everything together. So let's have a look at bits first. On the table here, laid out, I've got the end pieces and a large knot, and the longer sides, that's got a large knot. Wood has knots, deal with it. This is the flow hive. Uh, you can see it on the website how it works, and I'll show you later on how it works internally. So here we go again. Uh, there's the end bits, the roof, the base, the queen excluder, and the crown board. And knots. Don't like knots. I'm using long life paint, so I'm going to make sure if you're painting this, make sure you use some knot sealer. Now we have the plants. They're really well detailed, they give you the bits at the top you're going to put together. It's only two boxes and a roof, and they're really well detailed drawings. Down the bottom there's some written instructions, uh, which I don't read because I'm a male, and uh, there's the roof. I had a little issue with that, I put three screws in, they were fine, the fourth one went in the corner, and I had to re-drill that. So. Also saw a YouTube video where one had really badly warped, so I put another four screws in, and in my next video I'll show you how to reinforce it a little bit more. So it's going to look a nice roof that. But we come to the end boxes. They've got finger joints there. Uh, back in the day before metal screws, uh, glue, dowel, finger joints probably was the way to go. But we've got seven screws going into the brood, brood box corner and it does seem a little bit over the top and there we go, some more knots I guess this is what they call B grade get it? B grade anyway uh, I only had about, I only had to file down about three or four of the fingers for the boxes to fit together properly uh, so that's not too bad in total contrast the roof sections I don't think there was actually one knot in any of these four pieces they're all lovely and straight, and it was a doddle to put together. So, we next have, oh yes, it's a plastic queen excluder. Whether that's better than metal, I don't know. There could be issues if it's breaking. Uh, the queen, the crown board, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna, I think of an improvement for that. And then we come to the base. This is all pre-assembled. Uh, you can pull this bit out to give you more ventilation. But there was another issue with that later on, I'll show you. There's the big metal rod for turning the flow frame. And credit where it's due, they put all the screws into different bags. You've got two boxes and the roof, and they've labelled it all up nicely, because we've got a hell of a lot of screws here to use. And here's the brood box. I painted it up with undercoat, and then I noticed there was a lot of cracks around the finger joints. They also protrude slightly, and they're roughly cut, so they're all pitted at the end. So that's going to let in damp, cold. So I've had to fill them all down, and I'm a bit gutted because I can't find my electric sander either. So I'm going to have to file. I'm going to have to sand this lot down by hand. But it's on every corner, which is a bit of a pain. Now, when I first saw the flow frame, it's held together at the top and the bottom by uh, metal wires. And I thought, what happens if those wires come off? And lo and behold, one of my family members was walking past with his mate, and the wires just apparently fell off both ends. But this is a good thing, because now we get to see how it works internally. Now, this is uh, composed of 37 sections outer sections and 38 inner sections so if we get one of each of those out uh, we put it on a bit of black backing and this will show it up a bit more I think turn it round there we go now 
at the top and the bottom there's a bit of a gap the bees fill this up with wax and when you slide this up and down with your key rod there breaks the wax and all the honey drops out to the bottom into the chamber and pours out the back so here we have it there's a large pin and there's the hole that holds the outside sections together and there's a little lug you can see there at the top that fits into a slot on the outer section so it slides up and down in that slot there you go just like that it is such a brilliant simple invention why didn't anyone think of this before so there you go there's the slot at the bottom the hole in the pin at the top now if it does all fall apart make sure see it's misaligned there make sure those lugs go in the slots and as we're only harvesting honey maybe once twice if you're lucky three times a year you're going to come to a hive and think where am i going to put the rod top or bottom well if you put it in at the top it tightens if you put it at the bottom it breaks so bottom breaks top tightens tt bb bottom break top tightens that's a little easy thing to remember now to put it back together again the wires have got on one side four twists to keep it tight on the other side it's got nine twists to keep it tight and I noticed that at one end you've got a rounded section at, and on the bottom you've got another rounded section and a non-rounded section and on each corner there are little uh, slots for the wire to fit in so I figured they must put the wire on the non-rounded end section first and then pull it down over the rounded section they don't stand up very well either so also it's about this point that the video camera decided to stop filming so being as it's all assembled we're going to have to simulate this now so nine twists I actually got eight in mind when I put it back together and four twists make sure you've got the which uh, why you've got at the right end get it nice put it on at the um, the non rounded end first put it into those slots bring it down finger tight down to the front about three or four millimeters above the slots and with a credit card telephone card push it down and it'll go straight in easy peasy and there it is all back together again what a doddle only takes a few seconds so don't panic if your frame falls apart now my last issue is with the base do you see the base is uh, supposed to slope back so the honey flow flows out of the bottom of the flow frame and they put a flat piece of wood there and that other piece of wood is two or three millimeters too tall that screws eight millimeters across so it's about a four or five millimeter gap at the front it was actually uh, three millimeters too short so a bit of a somebody was not doing a very good job with their measurements there you go three millimeters too high and at the front it was three millimeters too low but it's all wood so it's fixable I planed it all down and it works fine now in conclusion if you buy the flow hive you may have to do some extra work on it but being, being wood it's flexible the final result is a good looking hive and will make a nice decorative feature in your garden if you want to be more economical you can just buy the flow box with the flow frames on their own and build, buy build a basic hive Another feature of the flow hive is the observation panels, but this is only on your honey box and that allows you to see the bees inside without disturbing them. So I'm thinking, let's make a box, a hive, with observation panels for the brood box as well. And the cover board, crown board sorry, should be an observation point as well. The flow frames themselves look good, they're brilliant, but at just over £50 each this is a big cattle outlay for one hive but in view of the mess, wastage, time factor of using an extractor, cleaning it up I think that the flow hive has the advantage another project I would like to try is managing a hive with only two flow frames which would then reduce the cost per hive well, my bee colony arrives soon and hopefully the installation will go well hopefully 
and we'll have another video to show so subscribe and check back